Let's think now about how we would do arithmetic to fractions. And let's start by thinking about the way that we understood multiplication in terms of a count. Remember that we understood multiplication in this way. Three groups times four squares per group equals 12 squares, right? So we take how many groups times how big each group is in order to find out what we have all together. What if instead of taking three groups, we only wanted to take part of a group? So perhaps we want to say two-thirds of a group times 18 squares per group. What would that work out to be? Well, let's think about 18 squares. Here's a group of 18 squares. How would we take two-thirds of that group? Well, what's a third of that group? Remember, a third is a piece of such a size that three such pieces make one whole group. So that means a third of 18 is 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So. Six squares are one third, another six squares are another third, and the third six squares are the, the third third, right? Each of those groups of six squares is a third of the original group. So how would we take two thirds then? We would simply take one third and then two-thirds. So we would say 6 times 2 is 12. To take a fraction of a group then, what do we do? Well, first we figure out what a third is in this case. We figure out what the relevant fraction is. To do that, we use division. First we divide by the denominator. And then, having done that, we multiply by the numerator. 